Welcome to your Cougar 22 MLS. Take a quick walk around. Taking a look at our front tanks. I do have my tester tank open right now, but it's pointed to the tank on the right. So when I flip the supply line to the tank that I have open, it goes green. Green signifies that it's uh, drawing gas. Red means that it's empty. Back there, we're gonna have our battery disconnect. They'll turn off everything to the coach, uh, except for the carbon monoxide detector that always draws power. Up front or power front jack, down, up, on, off, and then right here, this little tab comes off. Um, inside there, there's a spot for a socket to mainly override it in the case it electrically goes out on you. Our water heater. So the first thing that we gotta do to get this uh, ready to use is plug in our water um, so we got our city connections right there and then correlating to that blue tab is where the water is going to go so right now it's going to go to the fresh tank but if it was down it'd be your city water connection and then the city water connection you will want a water pressure regulator make sure that uh, campgrounds are pushing really fast so it's not going to blow out your lines um, this little curly hose in here goes right here, twist on there, outside shower, hot and cold, spray off dogs, fish, feeder yourself. And then below that, we're gonna have our black tank flush. Our black tank flush is a sprinkler inside our black tank, trying to spray the sensors of all the toilet paper. But going back to the water heater, so after you plug in your water, first thing that you're gonna do is go inside the camper, um, turn on your hot water line. You're gonna wanna push out all the air that's in here. We wanna fill it up with water. Uh, so what you'll do, take your one and one sixteen socket, tighten down the drain plug, and then again, go inside, turn on your water, and then you're gonna want a good flow of water coming out of your spigot, because this needs to fill up before we turn the button on inside. Um, you can also make sure that it's full by pulling the pressure release valve. A little water will come out if it's full. To drain the water heater, what you'll do is pull your pressure release valve, hear that pressure die off so that the anode rod doesn't come shooting out at you really fast. The water will drain right there. Um, this is going to break down basically every 50%. You're going to need a new one. Then you do have some reset buttons on here if when you push the button inside and it doesn't fire up for some reason. To the right of our water station, we're going to have a solar panel hookup. Just got to make sure you have that solar input if you do want a solar panel. Um, taking a look at our jacks right here. This little T-bar in here is an override spot for the jacks in case they were to mechanically or electrically go out, I mean. Um, looking under our camper, by our tires, we're gonna have our low point drains. So that's gonna be for winterizing and dewinterizing or getting out all the water um, of the trailer. This is your fresh tank drain on your off door side by that stabilizer jack. Your tires are filled with nitrogen. You can mix it with regular air. Um, it shouldn't deflate or expand with temperature change though, so it should last a little longer. You're gonna wanna hit your rubber seals twice a year with a rubber seal uh, conditioner and cleaner. You don't want those to dry out to make a wa major water spot. Water is gonna be our number one enemy on a trailer. Um, you can hit the side with carnauba wax twice a year. They'll help delaminization, de decolorization, help it, uh, those decals stay pretty. Twice a year, you're gonna wanna go on the roof Treat the roof with a awning or roof and awning with a cleaner and conditioner that has a UV blocker in it as well. Looking in the back of our coach, we're gonna have our poles, which we're gonna have our black tank on our left and our gray on the right. So we like to do our gray water last because that is the cleanest water. And I do like to have a clear elbow here so I can see when it's finished cleaning.
the little black circle up there is a cap uh, for where the camera would go if you do want one you just got to put the camera in there there's a cord behind there to make it a plug and play and then you'll take the monitor put your monitor and your cigarette lighter make sure your running lights are on so that the two compare not necessary but it is nice um, I'll need the keys I'll get those inside there we're gonna have our cable and satellite hookups if uh, the campground offers it And we have cable satellite and 110 outlets if you want to hook up a TV or appliances outside. And we have our furnace port. Please let little kids know that's the furnace. Um, it's going to get hot. We don't want to hear the bad stories. The top right corner of our awning, there's a little black circle tab. That tab comes off. And inside there, there's a spot for a socket to manually override the awning as well in case that goes out. Underneath our baggage door, we're going to have the cranks, which you got the spare tire crank, and then you got that uh, the stabilizer override crank. Taking a look at this, we're going to have the brain of the coach, so if the digital panel goes out, don't worry, you'll still be able to run your arms and your slides through here. You got motors one, two, three, four, and five. And then this is your in and out button. Again, in case that digital panel goes out inside. Um, bearings to be repacked. Also a maintenance thing. Two years or 6,000 miles, depending on how much you travel. For our stairs, we wanna make sure that the door is completely open. up. The handlebar goes to the side to release the tabs. Which the tabs go behind the frame. And then the legs have these pins. Let's hold this. Have these pins that come out to change the different length of the legs for different ground clearances at different campgrounds that you'll be at. And you want to make sure that those legs are at a good position because you want this flush right here. Otherwise, the bottom of the stairs and the bottom of the door can take itself out. Some storage underneath the bed. You have one tens, a light switch for up front there, USBs. Controls for the chairs are going to be on the side for the heat, the massage, and the light. And then the pull are on the side for the legs. Same thing as the other one. For the table, we're going to have this little bar. This little bar goes behind that white block. And that will not allow the table to go down to make it into a table. So to make it into a table, release that. Move the cushions. Move the cushions. And then push down after we move that bar. And then you'll use the rest of the cushions to make the rest of the bed. refrigerator we got a power button you got to hold that down for five seconds to turn it on and off five is the coldest one is the warmest got fridge settings freezer settings and nighttime mode microwave if you need more directions on the microwave you can find the manual packet our stove top this is our igniter constantly turns to the right so what you'll do is open it to the pilot symbol start the flame it will also light your oven what you'll do for the oven though Hold it to the pilot symbol. Push in on the pilot light symbol. While you're pushing that in, one second. While you're pushing that pilot light symbol, you're gonna hit the igniter, and that flame will eventually turn into a spark. Once it's a spark, you can release the pilot light symbol and turn to desired temperature. Got 
light switches and USBs and 110s above us, above the sink. The purple door, or purple are gonna be for the front door. Grays are gonna be for the baggage doors. And silver is gonna be for that um, cable satellite box outside in the back. And then you do have a foot, a foot flush. So when you push down on that, the water will come out. You always wanna put about a gallon of water in the toilet chemical solution down into the tank. So it's breaking down solids and smells. If you're at a full hookup, don't leave the valves open. Um, the smell will arise. Light switches, and then you got your carbon monoxide detector down there. That will always draw power from the batteries. Then I got our TV. Radio next to that. You got zones one and two. One is inside, two is outside. It does have Bluetooth, so you can hook up to your phone. Stations are gonna be wherever you are. And then we're gonna have our digital panel. Zeros is the code. Whatever is lit up is what you're using. So if I were to hit water heater, it would light up just like this one, but I'm not gonna hit it because I don't have water in the system. Water pump, turn that on real quick. Um, that's gonna draw out of your fresh tank. Got settings. So you can get in command off the app store and go to Bluetooth and the settings and pair it up to your phone, change the passcode, stuff like that. Awnings, awning light for outside. And then I'm gonna hit the awning button. If you hold the button for too long, the awning will reel in the opposite way. So once you see the tube of the awning, you're fully out. And then to pitch it for the rain, you can either choose this side or that side, doesn't matter whichever way you want the rain to fall, but what you'll do is go to this elbow and pull down. Create this uh, bend. Now the rain would be falling this way. They say you can run it in bent, but I push it straight a little bit before I run it back in. Now, looking at our slides and our jacks, so our front jacks, It'll do both of the front and both of the rears, in and out. The slide. The power dies off once you're fully in or fully out. You do want to bring the slide fully in and fully out. There's also a motor right in the middle behind this fascia that has a spot for a socket to manually override the slide in case that electrically goes out. Lights. It's just light switches all over. And then our HVAC, which you just hit the mode, cool, heat, auto, off, then put it to the desired temperature. Then you can put it to a schedule via this hourglass. And then your tanks, the lights grow as the tanks fill up, the black tank don't wait till full.